Have you ever wondered what's hiding beneath your feet? What lies beyond the solid ground that we walk on every day? From the outermost layer to the very core, we'll explore the different components that make up our planet and how they all work together to create the world we know today. So buckle up, because this is going to be an exciting journey into the heart of our Earth. So, we're all pretty familiar with the stars and galaxies far, far away, thanks to our telescopes and space exploration. But when it comes to figuring out what's happening inside our own Earth, it's a bit like trying to solve a mystery from the inside out. So, how do scientists actually go about studying what's cooking beneath our feet? Well, they can't just dig a gigantic hole to the center of the Earth, that would be a bit extreme and probably not very practical. Instead, scientists use a set of advanced techniques to piece together the Earth's internal composition. One key player in this detective work is seismic activity. You know those rumbles and shakes during an earthquake? Turns out, they're like nature's own sonar. Scientists study the waves generated by earthquakes to create a sort of Earth ultrasound. By analyzing how these waves travel through the planet, they can get clues about what's going on below the surface. Another tool in the toolkit is gravity. No, not the kind that makes you trip over your own feet, but the Earth's gravitational field. Variations in gravity can tell scientists about the distribution of materials inside our planet. It's like the Earth is dropping hints about its own composition. Then there's the fancy term, seismology. Seismologists use data from earthquakes and explosions to create detailed images of the Earth's interior. It's a bit like using sound waves to take a peek inside. And of course, we've got rocks. Not just any rocks, though, special rocks called mantle xenoliths that sometimes make their way to the surface through volcanic eruptions. These rocks are like messengers from the Earth's deep interior, carrying valuable information about what's happening down there. Before we plunge into the secrets beneath our feet, ever wondered why the sky puts on its beautiful blue attire? Uncover the answer by simply clicking the link in the top right corner. All right, let's break down our home planet like we're peeling an onion, but without the tears. The Earth's got layers, and it's not just about what's on the surface. Starting from the outside and working our way in, we've got the Earth's crust averaging about 8 to 40 kilometers thick. It's like the thin shell that covers the entire planet. This is where we live, build our cities, and take beach vacations. This layer is pretty thin compared to the rest, making up only about 1% of the Earth's total volume. But don't let its thinness fool you, it's where all the action happens, with continents, oceans, and us hanging out on top. Right beneath the crust, things get a bit more interesting. We hit the mantle, a thicker layer that makes up a whopping 84% of Earth's volume. This layer is not molten lava but still pretty hot and fluid, making it more like a slow, gooey flow. This chunky middle layer goes down deep, extending from about 40 kilometers to a whopping 2,900 kilometers below the Earth's surface. Now, if you thought the mantle was playing it cool, wait till you meet the Earth's outer core. This layer, located from about 2,900 to 5,150 kilometers down, is what gives us our magnetic field, the invisible force that makes compass needles point north. And finally, at the very center, we hit the Earth's inner core. This tiny but mighty core, around 1,200 kilometers in radius, is where things get seriously intense. All right, let's zoom in on the Earth's outer layer, the crust. Think of it as Earth's surface skin, the part we're all familiar with because, well, it's where we live. The crust is the thinnest layer yet it isn't the same everywhere. It's got two types, continental crust and oceanic crust. Imagine continental crust as the solid ground beneath your feet when you're strolling in a park or hiking up a mountain. On the other hand, oceanic crust is what you'd find under the ocean, think of it as the Earth's floor beneath the waves. But wait, there's more. The crust isn't just one solid piece. It's broken up into chunks called tectonic plates. They're like puzzle pieces that are constantly moving, shifting, and sometimes colliding. This movement is what brings us earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and the ever-changing landscape. 
Now, it's time to dig a bit deeper, literally, and explore the Earth's mantle. First off, the mantle is a bit of a heavyweight, making up a whopping 84% of Earth's volume. It's like the Earth's middle layer, sandwiched between the crust and the core. While the crust gets most of the attention because, you know, we live on it, the mantle is doing some serious behind-the-scenes work. The mantle is made up of solid rock that can flow over geological timescales. It's like a slow-motion lava dance happening deep within the Earth. Now, the mantle is responsible for some pretty cool things. As the mantle's rock flows, it pushes and pulls those tectonic plates, creating earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and shaping the Earth's surface over millions of years. While the crust is more like Earth's outer skin, the mantle is the engine beneath, driving the geological action. And get this, the mantle's not just one uniform substance. It has different layers with various depths and temperatures. The uppermost part of the mantle is called the upper mantle, extending from the base of the crust to a depth of about 410 kilometers. Below that lies the transition zone, reaching down to about 660 kilometers. Beyond this point, we enter the lower mantle, stretching from 660 kilometers down to approximately 2,900 kilometers. Dive straight into the heart of the matter, the core. This is where things get intense, like the central powerhouse that keeps the Earth ticking. So, what's happening at the Earth's core? Well, it's divided into two main parts, the outer core and the inner core. Picture it as the Earth's own hot and solid duo. First up, the outer core, it's a bit like a boiling pot of liquid iron and nickel. It's scorching hot down there, but not quite enough to make things boil in the way you might imagine. Deeper still, we reach the inner core. This is like the Earth's solid core, composed mainly of iron and nickel. Despite being incredibly hot, we're talking about temperatures hotter than the surface of the sun, the immense pressure at this depth keeps things solid. Well, this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for tuning in to explore the fascinating layers of our planet. If you enjoyed this journey through Earth's crust, mantle, and core, don't miss out on more intriguing content. Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. We've got a universe of knowledge to uncover together. Drop your comments below to share your thoughts and ideas for future explorations. Join our community by subscribing to Physics Daily, and let's keep the curiosity alive. See you on the next adventure.